everybody, it's Patty here with episode 110. Today is June the 15th, 2020. Today, on today's show, I should say, I have whips, I have haul, and I have knitting. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing water today. Your craft of choice, and let's chat. So, how was everybody's week? Mine was good. Um, we have had a, another uptick of COVID patients, but not too many. And our death toll right now is 12, which two people were here in the city, but 12 throughout the state, which is really good, I think. Um, if you follow any of the COVID information, Alaska is now asking that you either take a COVID test 72 hours before you fly in, you take a COVID test as soon as you land and then wait for the results or you do 14 day quarantine before you do anything. I know that we're getting a lot of out of state coming up doing the fishing industry, which is the fish processing and getting on the boats to do fishing. And that's where the majority of the new um, COVID positive tests are coming from, it's coming from that section of the industry. So hopefully we can clamp back down again and not so hard that uh, we do do a tailspin, but hard enough that we can stop the COVID from coming into Alaska. <clears throat> and if you'll notice, my voice is really funny today. I Every time I wear a mask and go shopping, this is what happens. I spend the, ne the rest of the day coughing because I guess I'm just not getting enough air for my lungs, so it's not liking, it's not liking the masks. So I think I'm gonna have to stop going shopping. And because uh, I went to two different stores today, and I spent a long time with the mask on, so I just probably can't do it anymore. So I'll have to wait and see how that all turns out. But uh, bad hair day too. So anyway. Um, Exciting news for this week, Little Man turns three. That's right, Little Man is going to be three years old already. I just cannot believe it. So they will be having a party for him this weekend. And uh, uh, that's one of the shopping excursions I went on is to get him a present because the hubs did pick him out something on Saturday, but he wasn't really happy with it. So I said I would go look. So I went to Walmart with the mask, walked all over Walmart. Uh, I was looking for swing sets for here because I would love to have a swing set for him for here, but there's no swing sets. I looked for riding toys that weren't outrageous. And the only thing I could find was a tricycle, but it was for one and a half to three. And I figured, no, that's not gonna work. I mean, it would work because the Littlest man could use it after little man was done, but I figure, uh, you know, now let, we'll just have to wait. Just have to wait and see if stuff starts shipping again. The factories open up and start shipping stuff, so we'll have to wait and see. But I did find him some cute toys, and I got the littlest man something because you can't go to a party, a kids' party, without bringing a present for the sibling. That's been how we've done things. So, especially you now grandkids, you bring a toy for the other grandchild. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's all my babbling for, for now. Shall we get on with the stitching? I think so. Okay, my Mirror Monday for the month of June is Rose's Provence. And this is what she looks like. I'm stitching her on 32 count Pearl Gray Belfast. And, I worked on her hair this time, so I got all of this filled in right there. So I was really happy with how that's turning out. I enjoy stitching on her, she's fun. I need to start stitching on the white though, so that I break it up a little bit, because the white's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. And then, Whip Go Tuesday is Santa of the Forest, and I'm stitching this on 32 Count Natural by MCG Textiles. And I didn't work a lot on him this week, but I did get this section done, or you know, I started this section and I worked on this section. 
So that's where I'm at on Santa of the Forest. I am so happy with this. But now it is the what the third week, so it is time to switch out my Whip Go Pet project. I guess I should show you what Santa the Forest is going to look like. There it is. Santa of the Forest by Lavender and Lace. I really like this project a lot. It's probably going to be coming out in July for Jolly July or Christmas in July, whatever that is going to be. So then I pulled out um, Atlantis by Owl Forest Embroidery. And this is a picture. I don't have a color picture of it, but this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I am using the kit, all called for kit. So this is also 32 count. She dyes the um, fabric and the floss. So I finished this and put these little guys in. So that's what I worked on on Wednesday. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Yay! So put that all back together. And then I decided to work on um, the Scarlet House Seeking a Refuge. I am stitching this on 32 Count Platinum by Zoigart. Oh, it's still on the Q-snap. So I worked on the house. Look at that. I'm so happy with that color red. I hope you guys can see the variegation slightly variegated but I really am enjoying doing this house I started I finished that one white strand for the blocks up at the top hopefully you can see that but I mainly wanted to work on the house and ah that was so much fun and I'm no longer worried about having enough because I know I will have enough for both sections of that oh wow that does fit in there <laughs> it does kind of fit in there I didn't think it did. Okay. And then on... So that was Thursday. Friday I really didn't stitch. I may have stitched a little bit on this project on Friday. And then on Saturday I really worked on it. it this is... Um, Linens and Threads Mystery Sal. So I'm working on part 6 which is the June section. And this is where I got to. So I finished this. I finished this motif. Finished this motif. And started the, like, laurel. I'm thinking this like, like a laurel. Where you put your initials in the year. But yeah. And I'm going to make the leaves green. There's a little section that looks like it's not part of the plant. So I was going to make that the red. And then pink flowers. So that is how this one's turning out and I have two more weeks to get the June one done I think I got it I think I got it I don't think that's going to be a problem so I think I worked on this yeah I worked on this on Saturday Sunday none of the full coverages were calling my name so I went ahead and pulled out the Silver Creek samplers um when life is done the memorial piece for my dad and i did a little bit of changing on this one she is kind of a redhead in this picture but when he first met me i was blonde i was 10 years old no i was five years old when we met dad they got married when i was 10 so i was a blonde so i decided to make her blonde and my mom told me that he did like cardinals, so I'm going to put the cardinal there, and then I'm going to put a raven, or a blackbird, over here where the second bird is. But this is where I'm at. I figure a couple of more sittings, and I will be done with this way before October. So I'm very happy with that. Very happy. And this is only half of this fabric so this is great i'm gonna have lots of this fabric left and this is um 32 count lambs wool 
So that's really good. Oh, and I stitched the uh, Linens and Threads 18 Count Oatmeal Ada. So that's where I'm at. And then I put this away. I played some Animal Crossing because I'm playing Animal Crossing like crazy. That's why a lot of it's not getting a lot of stitching done. I'm doing a lot of stitching, just not getting a lot accomplished. Because, yeah. <sighs> Animal Crossing. Crazy. I went ahead and did week 24 on the Purple Peppermint 52 Week Blackwork Sal. And it is uh, this square here. And this is also on 18 count oatmeal Ada. So... Yay for that. I'm very happy with how this is turning out as well. That's, at one point I thought about not doing this row and then adding something to the top and calling it good. But, you know, it takes maybe an hour. Probably not even that long. And why not? Just get it done. It'll be really cool. And I'm thinking about making it into a wall hanging. Maybe I'll put welcome and then put my last name at the bottom. So, you know, I think that'll, I think that would be cool. Welcome, and then that at the end. And maybe some pineapples, since that is the sign of welcome, good fortune, whatever, in the uh, Hawaiian thought. So, yeah. And we all know how much Patty loves Hawaii. Yes. So, that was all the stitching that I accomplished last week. So, should we go on to knitting? I think so, and then we'll do haul. So, knitting. I have been working on the rosette window, and I thought I would show it to you because this is Ugly Naked Guy. By who? I can't remember anymore. Ugly Naked Guy by Two If By Hand. And this is hand spun that I spun myself. So this is what is left. And I thought I would bring it out and show you because I did do a new cross. So here's where we're at. I think I was way up here last time you guys saw it. So I have stitched or knitted all the way down to the cable crossing. And now I'm on what's called the double yarn overs. So I haven't started those yet, so we'll have to wait and see what they look like. But here's where it's how it's turning out. And I'm really happy with it so far. But this is definitely one I have to be in the mood to do it because you really have to pay attention to what you're doing or it messes up. So I really have to be in the mood to knit. Um, I didn't do any spinning. I didn't go to knit night because I was not feeling well. We were going to meet outside because it was beautiful. And my stomach has just not been happy for about a week and week week and a half i have a doctor's appointment on the 9th of july so here's hoping here's hoping that they can figure out what's going on so haul i went ahead and ordered some more of the eight inch wire tie ring key ring ties so they came in today so i'm very happy so i can make some more get up some more projects and use these. I also received the two flosses that I was missing for the Great Pumpkin Conspiracy. So these are the last two colors I need. So let me pull all the colors out again. Because I'd love to start this really soon. Really soon. So I am really, I was going to pull from my stash until I saw how colorful this is Autumn Banquet. Yeah, Autumn, I think it's Autumn Banquet or Autumn Bouquet. Re put your glasses on and then maybe you can see, right? So Autumn Bouquet. But look at how colorful that is. That's just so beautiful. So I went, okay, I'll go ahead. And I got the other color as well because I was I did another order that from my mom. Thank you, Mama. But here we go. And here is all the colors that's in that kind of squished together here. There we go. Well, I think it's gonna be pretty. 
very, very pretty. And then I decided to be crazy and I got Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. And I got all the floss but three. They were back ordered or out of stock, so I didn't get those. But here are some of the colors. So I think it's going to be really neat. And instead of that dark gray fabric, I figured I would do it in a water color. Or what reminded me of water. And this is 32 count Stellar Lugana fabric. And I think it should be good. It should be okay. I think it'll be... I think some of those colors will really pop. And so, yeah. I think it'll be awesome. I think it will be awesome. So... I'm really excited about that. Man, I think that uh, October's going to be start all the Halloween. <laughs> November might be start all the stuff. And December will be all start all the stuff. So that January, there is no new starts. And no purchases except for floss. Yeah, we'll see how good that goes. I'm really hoping it goes well. Because I really need to stop. But... That's it. So, for the haul. Um, plans. Since I have worked on Santa the Forest twice this month already, I'm going to pick up um, Mother's Arms for the last three weeks of Tuesdays. And I'm not sure about July. I have Mother's Arms as Mira Monday in July, and I'm not sure if I want to work on her for what's that? four, six weeks, no, seven weeks, that's seven weeks of mother's arms. I may substitute one of the mirrors I haven't started or the Tree of Hope for July. <laughs> I'm not sure. Or I could do Christmas in July for Mira Monday and do her in July and in December. That wouldn't be a bad idea because that's still five months away before I'd have, you know, four months before I'd have to work on it again. Maybe I will. I'll have to think about that. Tell me what you guys think. Because I think that three weeks on Mother's Arms is plenty. In fact, it may only be two weeks because uh, Mother's Arm is really pretty and I really want her to get done. I'm just not enjoying the stitch. So, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of color changes on that, and then there's a lot of blending filament and crinic, and I just don't know. I just don't know. But tell me what you guys think I should do for July. Should I do Tree of Hope? Should I do Duchess? Or maybe Christmas in London for Mara Monday in July? Let me, let me know your thoughts on the matter. Um, so, so looking around here. I have nothing else to share. I hope that everybody is staying safe. I hope that everybody is enjoying their time off if they're still on time off. I hope that uh, your states are doing well or your countries or wherever you are watching from. I hope that you all stay healthy and I hope that you, whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content and I will see you guys next week.